I'm Dr. Kita Curry, the CEO of Didi Hirsch Mental Health Services. I want to thank everyone here that is a survivor of suicide loss or of a suicide attempt. I was eight years old when I lost my dad to suicide. Um, it had a, a huge effect on my life. I think everything in my life has been affected by it ever since. Um, and I think there's some survivor survivor's guilt in a way for a lot of people that lose someone to suicide and then go on and have a great life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, it's just a very a complicated and layered issue that people don't address. And I'm just really happy that this prevention center exists, not just for the people that are, are um, dealing with suicidal tendencies themselves, but the people that have been affected by it, you know, and it, it touches the life of every single person that has known that, that victim and um, they need help as well. And I'm just so glad that this, this Suicide Prevention Center is here for, for everyone that needs it. We're 60 years old and today we're about to be the only building in California that has the word suicide prevention on the front of the building and probably the only building in the nation. We drive by buildings that say Cancer Center and Cardiovascular Center. It's about time we brought suicide out of the shadows and into the light front and center. I started working with them a long time ago because I had a, a neighbor who was actually um, one of the therapists here. Mm. And um, so then I started working with them. We did the Don't Be a DMV shirt to uh, benefit the D.D. Hirsch Mental Health Services with, at, at the time was addressing um, bulimia, anorexia, and body dysmorphia, those kind of like um, self-perception issues. But they have free mental health services for anybody and with any kind of ailment. Um, the, today they opened the first ever suicide prevention center that actually says suicide prevention on the outside and um, was a, a subject that is so stigmatized. You know, you'll see cancer center or cardiovascular center proudly displayed anywhere, but suicide is something that still people um, I feel uncomfortable addressing and so I really think that this is um, a great first step of um, showing people that it's it's okay to get help it's socially acceptable to get help and if anything you know you're you're showing more strength by reaching out than toughing it out. Dee Dee Hirsch also does have 24-hour uh, hotlines that you can call into even if you're just um, you know have some suspicions about someone that um, is really close to you also their um, their website uh, has Everything that you know, you, you could look at for things to, to talk to to someone about if they're suicidal, ways to approach them, um, and and just any other mental health issue possible. These are, these are all free services for people that can't afford it, and it's available to anyone in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. This affects everybody. This affects people that are you know working at Home Depot. This affects people that are working at your school. This affects people that are students. This affects people in any walk of life, any profession. It's not. Um, focused on, on one or the other. This is something that everybody deals with and a lot of people don't feel comfortable talking about. And I think this is the first step of opening that dialogue and making sure the people that need help get it. Reach out, don't tough it out.